bog with baked beans and tater tots. High school spaghetti with meat sauce or chicken Alfredo plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. Harris Ace Hardware, Wayne County's favorite hardware and building supply dealer, will not be undersold and will match any competitor's price on the exact item. On sale at Harris Ace, get a Stanley retractable utility knife, regular price $9.99. It's now only $3.99 with Ace Rewards card. And don't forget, Harris Ace is your place for x Mart Moors, Traeger Grills, Yeti Coolers, Costa Mar Sunglasses, and your hometown Yellowwood Pressure Treated Dealer. Harris Ace Hardware on West Cherry Street in Jessup. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. It's one-stop shopping for your home at Badcock Home Furniture More in Jessup. Badcock offers a full range of furniture, bedding, appliances, electronics, accessories, and floor coverings with the brand names you know and trust. Choose from a product line of more than 4,000 items. And when it comes to financing, Badcock makes it easy by offering you a plan that fits your budget. And be sure to ask about their 0% financing offer for up to 12 months. See Joe and Debbie Pears at Badcock Home Furniture More, located on Macon Street and Walnut Street in downtown Jessup. Wayne Memorial St. Joseph Candler Medical Group is proud to welcome Dr. Dorothy Nelder, family practitioner with 18 years of experience. Dr. Nelder is now accepting new patients and she enjoys building relationships with her patients and families. Dr. Nelder can diagnose and treat chronic illness, especially diabetes. She also offers basic women's health needs with preventative and screening health care services. Call Dr. Nelder at 559-2337 or stop by her office 930 South 1st Street in Jessup, 830 to 5, Monday through Thursday. Dr. Nelder accepts Medicare, Medicaid, and commercial insurance. Stop creditor harassment today. Stop the worry of a pending repossession, garnishment, or foreclosure. Contact the Bankruptcy Group, Attorney R. Flake Cabinets, for an experienced assessment of your financial situation. They have locations in Brunswick, Hazelhurst, and now Jessup. They are a debt relief agency. They help people file for bankruptcy relief. Call the office at 912-375-5620. 375-5620 to set up your free consultation. Let the Bankruptcy Group do the worrying for you. Now serving Jessup. Local news on WIFO. And local news in the news, the county commissioners met Monday for a work session. The topic, the budget, and the tenant proposed five mil increase recommended by their county administrator, Ed Jeffords, voted on last Monday by a 3-2 vote with commissioners Mike Robertson and Ralph Hickox voting against. Chairman Herschel Hires wanted it made clear last night that this is a tentative increase at this time. Hires clarified that the commissioners need to move forward in a timely manner in order to get the digest out on time, which they've done the past two years, something they haven't done in the past ten years prior. Hires says an increase is projected. And in order for that to take place, three public hearings have to be held. So in order to meet the timeline to vote the millage rate in on time, the vote was taken Monday to stay in the timeline. Harris says that this time it's just a tenant proposal. And with two commissioners not sold on a five mil increase, that's the reason for the budget study and work session last night. Before the meeting began, Harris told those in the audience that it's a work session for the commissioners. There would be no public comment, no questions from the audience. Harris told those in the audience that paper and pen were available on the table, and if they had any questions or concerns, simply write them down and leave an email or callback number, and someone from the commission will try to answer those questions. But last night he informed the people who attended that Monday night was not the time for any of that. It was just a meeting for the Board of Commissioners to discuss where they are and how they're going to get out of this financial hole they find themselves in. The figure last night is that the county is $7.4 million in debt, plus still have a couple lawsuits outstanding due to assessment issues that have exposed them to possibly up to $2 million more. They claim the digest has decreased for the past 10 years while the millage rate has remained the same and that the millage nets $1.4 million less today versus back then. They point to state unfunded mandates, lost the millions in flip of money. Two commissioners voted no on Monday evening, and that is the reason for the called work session last night. Commissioners Roberts and Hickox requested the session. Both discussed their vote Monday. We begin with Mike Roberts, who said he just pleased five mills. is simply too big of a bite of the apple this time. And keep in mind, Roberts is still trying to win re election in November. Here was Mike Roberts last night. Five mil increase. I, 
I felt like we could take a bite out of the debt we owe, you know, a smaller bite, and maybe, you know, set the minutes lower and then work on it through the year and see how our programs go. And then we would know next year whether we were going to have to, if we were going to have to furlough, we were going to have to lay people off, if we were going to have to cut our services some, we would know more of that. And so that's why I asked for us to, to revisit, you know, to revisit the, the budget some and take a look at it and see. And I'm sure Mr. Jeffers has went through the budget completely. And uh, that was my reason for, for asking for that. I wanted to be sure before I agreed to the to the five meals so that we can get our money from the state and we can get our digest in on time, which I was I was one of the ones who really wanted to digest in on time last year and was real pleased with when it went in. So with that being said, I'm gonna take the budget home which was on right here before me when I got here and do quite a bit of long hard studying on it and looking at it to see where some things that I can maybe go in and sit down with Mr. Jeffers and talk about that we would have a chance to do. Because I just didn't feel like, you know, we we went, we were going along there pretty, pretty steady and then all of a sudden, I know when I sat down with Mr. Luther, he said, uh, I think we're going to have to raise the, the millage a couple of meals. And we said, okay. And then we uh, we came in the other night and we just, you know, we were told it's going to have to be five meals, which was a pretty big shock to me or it would have been a big shock to any of y'all that sit up here where I'm sitting. It would have been a shock to you. So hopefully we're going to find some some things we can work with inside of this. We'll see how it goes from there. And those comments last night, Commissioner Mark Rourke. Commissioner Ralph Hickox handed out a three-page printout to the public that attended entitled a 180 mandate, meaning how to turn things around and do a 180. Hickox says he simply won't vote for any tax increase without a plan to correct the problem. I'm not because I don't believe that we're going to have to do something. The truth is we all, the, the, I've seen the books early and I tell you it's in bad shape. And we're going to have to. But I refuse to vote, to vote five bills. I refuse to vote three bills. I refuse to vote one bill on the citizens of Wayne County without first having a concrete plan of how to dig out of it first. And that's where I stand. If you want to know where I'm at, that's where I'm at. So I spent a better part of today and yesterday making my own plan. And I will refer to it, give it a name, I guess, is the 1A plan because 1A is to turn around. If any of y'all like to copy of this, Don, you have And I'm asking that, I'm going to read this. I'm going to ask, uh, not tonight, obviously. I have discussed this with the other commissioners, and I'm going to ask we adopt this as our policy of how to handle this situation. So, with that, I want to first let you know how we got here and where we're here is, what we, what, where are we at? Wayne County is currently $7.4 million in debt. That's where we're at. That's a fact. Coupled with some lawsuits due to assessment issues, we are also exposed for potentially, actually between $2 and $2.6 million more. Potential. That's the worst case scenario if, if things went bad with that. The digest, uh, I was asked to simplify this a little bit. The digest has decreased potentially. Let me explain that a little bit for you about Donald. And again, those are some of the comments of Ralph Hickox. In this printout on it, it asks the question, who's responsible? And to his credit, Hickox says that Wayne County Commission is to blame. First time we've heard that. Hickox says they do accept the responsibility at the end of the day. They said they have the ability to balance the budget, cut services, or provide them. However, he says they do not want to raise anyone's taxes. We always want to give the best service. 
We want to provide our employees with the best pay and benefits. Unfortunately, Hickox really states we sometimes have to compromise on some of these to stay financially solvent. Maybe we put off making some hard decisions over the past several years and hope the economy turning around and revenue coming up so we wouldn't have to make those calls. Unfortunately, that did not happen. The picture is not pretty. It was stated that the can has been kicked down the road every year, and it's time to the point where they simply can't kick it any longer. Hickox laid out correction goals and correction steps, which he says we'll try to cover, or which we'll try to cover later this week. But no decisions reached on Monday night, and the fact remains that the proposal from their administrator is still a five mil increase. And the administrator last night didn't seem to be budging from that request. We'll come back and hear from him. Ed Jefferson says he hates to be the bearer of bad news, but the numbers are the numbers. Back was his comments after these commercial messages. Stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. Summer's here. Are you ready? At First Franklin Financial, we can help make this your best summer ever. Spruce up that old car, make your home shine, or take that family vacation you've always dreamed about. Whatever you've dreamed about, we can help make it happen with loans for any need, large or small. Just stop by and see the friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street. We're located in the plaza next to Walmart. Or give us a call at 912-427-4237. 427-4237. That's 427-4237. Apply online at www.1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. More from last night's work session. The County Administrator Ed Jeffers Monday night listened to both Commissioners Mike Roberts and Ralph Hickok concerned, stated that he's proud of his county employees. Jeffers says he preaches every day accountability and that the county has to grow. Jeffers addressed the county's financial situation at the retreat on Jekyll Island, and that is where all the commissioners stayed on record. They learned more about the county budget and county operation than they ever knew before. Monday night again, Hickox and others thanked Jeffers for the transparency of where the county is financially. Jeffers is proposing the increase of five mills. He says with the five mill increase, that doesn't even simply get the county out of bad financial shape. He says that's going to take some time. But Monday night, he did not seem to be moving away from his recommendation to five mills. He laid out his thoughts, saying the news is bad, and he is simply the messenger. Had to be bear, bad, the bearer of bad news. Um, it was my partner. As you remember, um, we went through the budget process, and you know, I started out about four million dollars in the hole. Um, and so we went back and, and got every department um, to cut. Um, and looked at every need. I walked through every line item with each department head, the constitutional officer, that went line by line what we need to do. We got function. They're certainly under the gun. And so came back with a, a, a budget so, shortfall of $2.2 $2 million. And that's what I brought to y'all, uh, and, and we approved over there. So, you know, and that's, that, I mean, that, that has to be made up somewhere. Now, we did go get a flip of money, and we got some other money that were due to us. We made significant uh, grounds on that. We have cash flow managed this thing. We did get a TAM to 6.7, but I promise you, we cash flow managed over there. A man that comes to me with, a, with what the needs are, and so we focus on that. And we've made a difference from that standpoint. I, 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 I want to be honest with you, three months ago, I didn't know if I was going to make a payday. Where I was going to have to lay people off over there. And, and I feel a little bit better now, but I'm not out of the woods. Well, uh, elaborate, you'll learn, you'll elaborate on the TANS and, and the fact that we got the, we got the TANS amount approved, but 
but that is more or less a lot of credit. It is. We haven't we haven't borrowed that, and, and a lot of credit over there. I mean, it, we have to attend to the tax anticipation note, where you know that, that this is commonly used throughout local governments. That that you know the revenues to run a government um, are are don't come in to a large degree until the fall of the year when taxes are due. Um, so between then and the time they're due over there, you have to you have to to make payroll and, and run the government. And so when it gets about summertime about <laughs> right now, the revenue stream is starting to fall off and then from from you know April through through October. Um, so that's where the cash the TAN participation note is is to make sure that you have that money. Now we've managed it pretty well. I, I'm pretty uh, proud of the employees. Um, and you know they stepped up the track. They hear me every day echoing, you know, accountability, accountability, accountability. We have to perform our services. If I was a business, none of some services I'd just shut down. You know, just how guys we can't go do this. Now, some of them we might at the beginning, at the end. But you know, there's so many roads in our county. There's ten thousand miles of, of road that the road department grades every year. You know, there's a tremendous amount of uh, participation and, and recreation in this in this community. There's a lot of uh, of uh, people that participate in that. Uh, you know, and it's good for the young. Um, you know, the law enforcement. I'm gonna sit there and tell you, a criminal justice, and, and I, you know, and the criminal justice is not just one group, not one individual, um, and one segment over there. It's it's a bunch of people, but that's a cornerstone of our society. And our nation, um, but it's a huge. It's about forty-five percent of our budget, and you know, um, I, we're we're working toward that. We we developed a criminal justice committee, and I'm proud of it. The, the superior court judges, the the clerks, the sheriff, um, all the agencies that participate in that, the lawyers. Um, The uh, you know the, the 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 complexity of that that system is, is there. We've had some some unfortunate news recently. We always have a drug problem out there. It takes forces to go do that. Um, we work with the sheriff very well. We work with the judges very well. We work with the DA and the solicitor very well. They've all very cooperative. Today uh, through July, I mean we we are you know we're better than budget. Um, so I'm hoping that... Again, those are some of the comments last night from County Administrator Ned Jeffords. He and WI Phil Fim continue to follow the story as it develops. The public does get to speak this coming Monday at the first public hearing, which is set for Monday at 9 a.m. second one will take place Monday at 6 p.m. The third and final hearing Monday, August 27th at 6.30, with the commissioners ready to set the digest that evening at 7 p.m. Again, it's to attend a proposed 5 mil increase, a 38.7% increase in one year. Again, if passed, that will be the increase more on the rail. Fickhawk Solutions for Corrections Goals on Wednesday's newscast. One note from the meeting, all the commissioners on hand except for James Thomas. James Thomas absent from last night's work session. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Totally transparent car buying. With Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC live market pricing, know for certain you're buying at the low market price. We constantly monitor multiple auto and competitor websites to always offer the most aggressive market prices. No games, no gimmicks, no kidding. That's why Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC is the home of the no-hassle deal. Skip the runaround and discover the difference of truly transparent buying on every new and pre-owned vehicle every day. We're online just like you, and we continuously scan pricing on hundreds of vehicles to update prices in real time. At Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC, know for certain that our live market price is the low market price. Experience a new and totally transparent way to buy with live market pricing. Chevy, find new roads. 
When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1625 Sunset Boulevard, and Hospice of South Georgia accepts anyone who meets hospice criteria, regardless of their ability to pay. Please call 912-588-0080 to speak with someone about hospice care. That was 912-588-0080. We are your hometown hospice, and we are here to serve you. Hospice of South Georgia, working to add life to your days. Final notes and news. Wayne County Board of Education has a work session set for today at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. On the agenda is an enrollment update. Dr. Pamela Schumann will give an update on the 2018-2019 school enrollment. Also, Dr. Brinch will discuss the GSBA Winter Conference and review the annual school board governance training report. Under financial management, they'll discuss their tax digest as they have to set a millage as well. Call meeting August 21st. The board will hold a call meeting on that date to set the millage rate. Also, they have an East Bloss discussion as the board hoping that the Wayne County voters will vote the East Bloss in November. And there's an executive session on the agenda today at 6 p.m. Again, it all takes place today at the Tech Center at 6 p.m. Both the Republican and Democrats have meetings this week. The Republicans met last night. Tonight is the Democratic Local Party meeting tonight at Civil's Restaurant Social at 6, meeting at 7. Democrats at this meeting will elect their delegates to the 2018 convention. All Democrats are invited to attend. Finally, don't forget Relay for Life date set for Saturday, August 25th, 6 to midnight at J.C. Stadium. Survivor dinner that evening at 5 p.m. This year's theme is Carnival for a Cure. They're going to have games, prizes, food, entertainment, tons of family fun. Luminary is still on sale. can be purchased up until August 20th. If you need to buy a Luminary or would like to purchase one, simply call 912-559-6185. Again, the number 912-559-6185 to purchase a luminary for the event in Sefer Saturday, August 25th, 6 to midnight at J.C. Stadium. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. Don't miss the 17th Annual Altamaha Wildlife Association Banquet set for Saturday, August 18th at Coastal Pines Technical College. There'll be a great meal catered by Civils, plus door prizes for every kid at the banquet, door prizes for adults, and a very nice gun package. Sponsorship packages are still available, so contact Steve Jones at 402-7932 to get yours today. Don't miss the 17th Annual Altamaha Wildlife Association Banquet set for Saturday, August 18th at Coastal Pines Technical College in Jessup. Good morning, everyone. We're waking to sunny skies on this Tuesday. Through the afternoon, temperatures quickly shooting into the low 90s. Heat index values close to 100, looking for maybe a spotty shower or two heat of the afternoon. For our Wednesday forecast, much the same as highs stay in the low, almost mid-90s. On Thursday, a slightly better chance of a shower or storm, partly cloudy skies. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. If you want the deal of the year on the truck of the year, better get in the back seat. Not only do we include a free lifetime powertrain warranty where nearly every vehicle sold, we also include some free complimentary maintenance. Gas engines come with four free oil changes. Diesels come with two. And you ain't got to take a tater and wait. Our service is quick. Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum Super Duties are rolling out with $8,000 off MSRP when you finance with four. 18 F-150 XLT, finance with Ford and get up to 11.5 cash back. 12,000 for Farm Bureau members. Come on and talk to us. Or hey, choose to get that F-150 XLT. Finance with Ford and get $8,000 
cash back. Plus, 0% for 60-month financing. Click WoodyFoltzenBoard.com or get in here and talk to us. Nearly 500 new Ford trucks on the ground in this town. Better get to Baxley today. Boogity, boogity, baby. Here's your menu in the Wayne County School System for Tuesday, August 14th. Lunch. Lunch menu. Elementary and middle school breakfast, grits, scrambled eggs, and sausage. Elementary and middle school lunch, corn dog with baked beans and tater tots. High school spaghetti with meat sauce or chicken Alfredo, plus the pizza line every day. Lunch menu brought to you by First Franklin Financial in the shopping center between Walmart and Goodwill. Lunch menu. W-I-F-O-F-M, Big Dog Country. It's time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bargain Power Sports. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Cindy Brown today. Cindy Brown celebrating. Happy birthday to Cindy Brown from Barbara and Stanley. Cindy Brown celebrating. Happy birthday wishes today to Daubry Crummy, Daubry Crummy from your wife Carolyn, Selena, Roger, Kim, Mike, Darian, Miracle, Alden, and Annalyn. We love you, Daubry Crummy. Celebrating happy birthday to Daubry Crummy today. I would love to wish my beautiful little sister an amazing thirteenth birthday. She has the biggest heart and beautiful smile that helps me get through most days. A personality that fits mine perfectly. That's why we're sisters. You have grown up too fast. Slow down now. I love you unconditionally, Adrian. Love your big sister, Taylor Nell, today. So happy birthday uh, to Adrian from Taylor Nell today. Happy birthday to Jackson Brantley. Jackson turns nine today. We love you, little buddy. From Daddy, Mama, and Reagan, Jackson Brantley is nine years old. Happy ninth birthday to Jackson Brantley. Michael Ward, 38. Happy birthday, Dad. We love you from Katie, Carson, and Colin. Wishing Michael Ward happy birthday today to Michael Ward. From Katie, Carson, and Colin. From Michael Ward. Happy 13th birthday to our Princess Adrian Pearson. Adrian Pearson, Mama and Daddy love you so much. Adrian Pearson, 13 today. Happy 13th birthday to Adrian Pearson today. Robin Eubank, State Farm List. Patricia May is celebrating. Patricia May. Glenda Osborne, happy birthday, Glenda Osborne. Tina Popple on the list as well. Tina Popple and Forrest Westbury. Forrest Westbury rounding out the uh, Robert Eubank State Farm list on this Tuesday morning. Chase Williams and Cindy Brown, happy birthday to Chase Williams and Cindy Brown from the Trapwell family. Chase Williams and Cindy Brown. And then happy anniversary to Kyle and Felicia Williams, 25 years. 25th anniversary for Kyle and Felicia Williams from the Trapwell family this morning. All right, Long County calendar on the 14th. Bria Ferry, or is that Bray Ferry? Bria Ferry and Retta Porter. Retta Porter today. Bria Ferry and Retta Porter. Happy birthday, Long County calendar. Text Osos at 912-427-3711. You've got time to uh, shoot one in right now via text. Happy birthday to Jackson. Love you, Pop. Jackson celebrating today with love from Pop. Happy birthday to Becky Spell, love Jennifer. Becky Spell, love Jennifer today. Becky Spell, love Jennifer. Please wish Bill Stipe, Bill Stipe, a happy birthday from Rhonda and family today for Bill Stipe. Bill Stipe, happy birthday wishes to Bill Stipe. Happy birthday to Hunter Yeomans yesterday from Aunt Tammy, Uncle Keith, and Kiefer for Hunter Yeomans. Birthday wishes for Hunter Yeomans from Aunt Tammy, Uncle Keith, and Kiefer. Also for uh, Hunter Yeomans, that was yesterday from Duran, Katie, Trey, Stevie, and Dawson for Hunter Yeomans. Hunter Yeomans celebrating. Fifteen Hunter Yeomans from Mama, Daddy, Deacon, Cooper, Nanny, and Papa. Comment, 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 comment. Okay, I don't see anything else here, so you've got time to shoot one in via text right now at 912-427-3711. Birthdays, anniversaries on WIFO as always, brought to you by Bargeman Power Sports. Famous birthdays today, actress Mila Kunis, that 70s show, and Family Guy is 35. Dear Meg, for the first four years of your life, I thought you were a house cat. Dad! I was like 15, I think I auditioned for the show. 
Ed Herlihy, voice of countless newsreels, was born in 1909. Planes line up to take part in the greatest air invasion in history by the 1st Allied Airborne Army. And Steve Martin is 73. Arizona, 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 Happy birthday to Chase Williams. Chase Williams from April, Joey, Timothy, and Carabeth. Chase Williams celebrating. Happy birthday, Chase Williams. Then happy birthday to Cindy. Cindy Brown from Raymond, Austin, and Ruffy. We love you. Cindy Brown from Raymond, Austin, and Ruffy. We'll come back with your big dog country birthday cake winner, and we'll do that right after this for Barnes and Power Sports. Bargewood Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargewood Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Can-Am four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargewood has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget, Bargewood Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargewood Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your big dog country birthday cake winner on this Tuesday morning. Happy 13th birthday to Adrian Peterson who picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. That certificate's here at the station. You come by, you pick that up. It's good for today. Only head to the pig and claim your prize. Bargeroom Power Sports brings you birthdays and anniversaries. Brunswick, Jessup online, bargeroompowersports.com. Everybody here at WIFO, we're wishing... Adrian Pearson, happy 13th birthday, Big Dog Country birthday cake winner. Thank you for waking up with FM 105.5 WIFO on this uh, Tuesday morning. It's the 14th day of August. We've got Wayne County softball for you this afternoon. Weatherman permitting. We'll get a look at that forecast coming up in just a minute here on FM 105.5, the Big Dog in Jessup. Happy birthday. Adrian Pearson, 13, picks up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Smart Physical Therapy in Jessup has moved. They're now located at 360 Peachtree Street next door to Wayne Family Practice. Smart Physical Therapy specializes in manual therapy to reduce pain in your joints as well as advanced strengthening for surgical and non-surgical conditions. Among other manual therapy treatments, they also offer dry needling. If you have any questions, call or come by anytime. 